Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're all about that Bowman, about that Bowman, no trouble. Jaspie's 10 box, all about the Bowman baseball mix around team number three. Coming at you, all card ship, a lot of great boxes here. Two Chase the Mantle entries being given away at the end. Big thanks to this group who made it happen tonight. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. Congrats to the winners and those two fillers. And uh, all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Two and a five, seven times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Two and a five, seven times. We got Josh down to Eugene. Two and a five, seven times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We got twins down to the Rays after seven times. All right, now, there's Josh. You got the Twins and the Brewers. Charles with the Royals. Mike with the A's. Ryan with the Marlins. Matthew with the Pirates. Mark with the Tigers. Chris with the Mets. Jimmy with the Giants. Alex with the Rangers. Chris with the Reds. Jimmy with the Padres. Danny with the White Sox. Lance with the Astros. Jimmy with the Phillies. Michael with the Mariners. Jimmy with the Cardinals. Alex with the Blue Jays. Andy with the Angels. Charles with the Nationals. Mike with the uh, Red Sox. Scott, you got my Dodgers. Chris with the Guardians, Charles with the Rockies, uh, Severin with the Diamondbacks, Eugene with the Cubs, Charles with the O's, Alex with the Yankees, and the Braves, Eugene with the Rays. All right, let's alphabetize by team, and we're going to pause the video just for a little bit uh, for the trade window. When we, when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break, so stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals were done, so the list remains the same here. And the Jaspies 10 box, all about the Bowman baseball mixer, random team number three. Alex, last spot mojo with the Braves. If you have HCA 9 or 10 next to your name, that means you won those teams, won those spots in the filler. These are the teams that got randomized. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate everybody getting in. Um, so this break will probably bring us close to the maybe the last half hour of the show. We got time to do some, uh, got time to do a couple things here. I would love to do that quick hit football mixer. I'm going to drop the link into the chat for you, for those of you watching live. Five teams left, a seven team giveaway. So, um, so yeah, take advantage of that. That's a tonight only situation there. So we'll get the base heavy stuff, the base heavier stuff out of the way first. And then we'll work through like the HTA boxes and then we'll close out with that hit parade Sapphire Bowman edition, which which is always pretty nice. Alright, good luck everybody. Let's whip around the league. Uh, Giants beat the Cubs. Four to three. Conforto and Villar with back-to-back -back homers for the Giants in San Francisco. In Arizona, Twins beat the Diamondbacks 8-3. Willie Castro with a homer for the Twins. We got uh, the Dodgers shut out the White Sox. Otani homers again. I think he's got like 10 homers in the last 15 games or something like that. He has, I think, 10 games in a row with an RBI, which I believe is a Dodger record. And I want to say that I think Gavin Stone went for... Uh, went uh, yeah, complete game shutout. Nine innings, scattered four hits, seven strikeouts, 103 pitches. Yeah, I was doing a little Bond, little uh, Bane, little Bond Bane. All right, uh, the Braves fell to the Cardinals in St. Louis in the second game of a doubleheader. Alec Burleson doubling in some runs. Cardinals won four to one. Uh, Blue Jays Red Sox game was canceled due to rain, I would imagine. Yeah, due to weather. Split doubleheader in August. We'll make those games up. Mets pounded on the Yankees 12 to 2. 
Francisco Alvarez had a home run. And the Orioles, yeah, beat the Guardians 4-2. Gunnar Henderson crushing his 26th homer of the season. Dylan Cease had a nine strikeouts. Padres beat the Nationals 8-5 in San Diego. Zach Neto had a bases clearing double that put the Angels ahead for good. They beat the A's 5-2. Brewers beat the uh, Rangers in overtime. In overtime? In extras, 6-5. A Montessario single did it. Royals beat the Marlins 5-1. Five, five run eighth did it. Astros beat the Rockies 7-1. In the first game of the doubleheader, Braves beat the Cardinals 6-2. Jared Kalanick had a two-run homer. Pirates beat the Reds 6-1. McCutcheon with a homer. Phillies beat the Tigers in, in Detroit 6-2. Brandon Marsh, two, uh, two with sing a two-run single. And then the Mariners beat the Rays, 5-2. Cal Raleigh, three-run blast. There you go. There's your day. There's your day in, in, in baseball. There's Yamamoto on the shelf with a, uh, with a shoulder thing. And here's Carlos Silva, 30 out of 50 gold for the Twins. That's going to go to Josh. All card ship. There's a nice George Lombard. Bowman first chrome. Bowman Chrome first. Yankees, that's for Alex. Heston Kirstad got called back up. And here's Bryce Harper to 399. Paper, 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 paper. Uh, Bryce will go to Jimmy and the Fighting Phils. Here's a Dylan Cruz, Bowman first. Bowman Chrome first. Charles with the Nats, nice. Dylan Cruz probably gets a cup of coffee at some point this summer, right? Or later this summer. Here's a Brock Wilkin Bowman Chrome first. Brewers. We just have a good pipeline of players coming up the rings. Josh with that one. And we got Augustine Ramirez. Bowman Chrome first autograph going to the Yankees. Alex with the Bronx Bombers. I guess Yuendi Noel debuted with a homer. This is supposed to be a big name for the Rays coming up the ranks. I think he, I think he was supposed to get a cup of coffee at some point, but a couple injuries. A little thigh injury, and then he's got another, another different injury. There's Enrique Jimenez. Purple paper for the Tigers. That's going to be for Mark. And there's Walker Martin, 234 out of 4.99. Giants. It's going to go to Jimmy with the spot that Chad could have had. <laughs> and you got a second round pick for the Gigantes. Uh, no, Garrett Mitchell, Eric, hurt his, uh, pulled a little hammy. He was working his way back from that finger wrist injury that he suffered in the end of spring when he got hit by a pitch. And he was, he was 
doing some rehab starts, playing well. You know, probably was probably would have been called back up this weekend or something, and then pulled up a little lame with a little hamstring issue, and now it's TBD. We might have some more information tomorrow. I think it literally just happened like yesterday. So as, as the as a fantasy owner of Garrett Mitchell, I'm annoyed. I'm sure Brewers fans are annoyed. I think he was supposed to be a starting outfielder before the season started. Not sure if, if uh, I think Sal Freelix doing okay, but I think uh, I think Garrett Mitchell does have a bit of a better power speed combination that that they could use. So. Should have one more autograph in this box, right? Somewhere in here. Oh, there it is. Ooh, wow. Nice Arjun Namala Bowman Top 100 autograph. Number 31 out of 100. And that's 49 out of 99. Nice. Alex with the Toronto Blue Jays. I want to say he is the first uh, person of uh, Indian descent uh, to be drafted in the first round. He was born. I think he's American, though. He's born here. But I think his parents are from, from India. Went to high school in Florida, I want to say. Nice. And then we got Byron Churio. Jackson's brother, his brother plays in Milwaukee. He plays in Minnesota. And then he's got another brother, I think Jason Churio? Or maybe this Churio is not related to those Churios. Maybe Jason Churio and Jackson are related. This is twins Churio, might not be related. That's for Josh and the twins. I know, someone, someone looked that up. I think when this product came out, we did look it up. I think that's what I remember, unless. All right, then we got Austin Riley. Oh, and a bonus autograph. So that insert autograph was a bonus. I was just going to mention that. It's like sometimes, this one's for Alex and the Braves. Sometimes when you get that insert auto, they hook you up with another auto. There's Max Wagner for Charles and the O's. Oh, no. Yeah, where Elvis Martinez was suspended for some PED use. All right, uh, let's let's move these mega boxes. Did, did, has, has Aurelvis Martinez made a statement about that? I always like to hear the statements. Because some guys are always like, I definitely didn't do it, but I guess the supplement, blah, 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 blah. I didn't know, but I guess I'll suffer the consequences. You know. I always respect the people who are like, yeah, you got me. I was trying to get an edge. You know. You know, I mean, yeah, I, I got a, according to MLB Trade .com, Blue Jays infielder Elvis Martinez received an 80 game suspension after having positive for. Flomi Fenny, a banned performance enhancing substance. Suspension is uh, effective immediately, blah, 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 blah. Blue Jays fully support Major League Baseball joint drug prevention and treatment program, blah, 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 blah. Both surprised and disappointed about Oral Elvis Martinez suspension. What they learn from this make? Yes. Jimmy, you're, that's absolutely him. 
Martinez released a statement of his own via the MLB, MLB Players Association. Quote, for the past two years, I've been trying to start a family with my girlfriend. During the off-season, we visited a fertility clinic in the Dominican Republic, and after getting lab work done, we were prescribed a treatment, which included a, med a medication called Rejune 50. Unfortunately, Rejune 50 contains a banned substance called uh, Clomiphene. We want to keep the matter private, even within our family. Trust the doctor who assured us the treatment did not include any performance managing drugs. Therefore, I made the mistake of not disclosing this to my team or the MLBPA. With that said, I fully took responsibility for my actions and my suspensions. I apologize to my teammates in Buffalo and Toronto, Blue Jays organization, the fans, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Uh, BT Dubs, quick little uh, Google research. Rejune 50 is a medicine used to treat female infertility. Female infertility. <laughs> Unless the doctor was like, yeah, it's fine. Pop a couple of these. She pops a couple of those too. Double power. Boom. You get kids. Happy family. You're on your way. So was he gobbling up a couple of those Rajun 50s? Not sure how how does that how does that make sense? There's your your Andy Morales, by the way, Charles. That doesn't obviously doesn't make sense. There, but there there must be a reason why he's taking it. You know, maybe he heard from his buddies. Hey, pop a couple of those. You're gonna you're gonna able be able to lift like ten more pounds. Oh, I'm not sure if that, that flies. Yeah, maybe, maybe. All right, those are those are your regular Bowman cards, and now we'll see the the megas. Counting on the Mariners would be their best hitter, and would be close. Or maybe he's a good hitter because he's away. Say a guy gets prescribed Adderall uh, properly and disclose it, do they allow it? Derek's saying no. Ooh, oh, I thought that was red for a second. No, it's magenta. That's Ryan Burroughs for the White Sox. That's to 299, 265 out of 299. That's for Danny Daniels. All right, now let's go with Bowman Draft 2023 Bowman Draft Asia Edition. I guess Adderall Adderall is banned. Yeah, I wonder what the disclosure process is. Maybe it's it's maybe the disclosure is, hey, I was prescribed this, you know, but can I take it before I even take it? Is this okay? And then I guess I'll give you the yay or the nay. It's more proactive instead of after the fact. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, if if you have a, a legitimate case of like. ADHD or ADHD or whatever and your doctor says yeah I mean you know to function normally in life 
you, you got to be able to focus. The Adderall is the way to go. So maybe that's no. Yeah. It's a deal breaker, says Eric Hughes. No more baseball, I guess. Or you live your life. I mean, maybe there's an equivalent. Maybe there's an equivalent where you could uh, take something else, I guess. Yeah, nice. Bowman first. Wyatt Langford. Rangers. That's going to be for Alex. Spot that he won in the filler. Got randomized. The Rangers gets a nice Bowman first. Wyatt Langford. Their fourth overall pick. I think starting to break out a little bit with the uh, with the Rangers. Nice one, Alex. So th these parallels are exclusive to the Asia edition. Bunch of paper here. And then we got a Speckle Cam Fisher. Not numbered. Yeah, I think that may, might be the problem with with Adderall. There's TJ Nichols to, to 99. Yeah, I mean, you could probably find a doctor who will get it to you, even though you might not truly need it, but you could tell the league that you really need it. All right, that's that with the Asia edition. Nice, nice Wyatt Langford out of there. Let's go 2021 Bowman Chrome. Yeah, Eric saying Chris Davis was suspended for it. It's kind of weird what what each league, right, has has called in the major sports. How each league has collectively bargained like PED use or drug use. I think the NBA is pretty pretty lax about about like weed, marijuana, but I I don't think I think the NFL is still pretty strict on it. Yeah, I don't know if Chris Davis actually needed it or not. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Eric's saying, I mean, ultimately it's up to him and his doctor, but whether, but for the MLB, yeah, maybe they, maybe they don't care. It's just a, just a straight up ban. All right, Bowman Chrome Baseball from 2021. Good luck. We got Paul Goldschmidt to two ninety nine. Cardinals, that's gonna be for Jimmy. Jimmy with that. And JD Orr. Ryan C with the Marlins. Jimmy Orr.
We've got Matthew Libertor to 199, 007 out of 199. Fire when ready, Rich Morning Penny. Mizell Urbina, Green Shimmer to 99. Kind of hard to see the number right there. 49 out of 99. That's for the Twins. That'll be for Josh. Oh, and there's the auto right here. That's Kale Emshoff for the Royals. Charles with Kansas City. And we'll never be Royals. A Sam Huff refractor to 499. That's for uh, the Rangers. How nuts is that? You know, the complete game is pretty much that. Gavin Stone's complete game shutout was the first complete game shutout for the Dodgers in years. All right, now we should go fairly quickly here. We're gonna go, we're gonna go by year. We'll go 19, 20, 21, and 24. We skip. We don't have 22 and 23, and then we'll close out with that hit parade. Good luck, everybody. Um, I, I brought I brought up Chris Davis's uh, Wikipedia page. Uh, in September 2014, Davis was suspended 25 games for testing positive for amphetamine. He asserted that he tested positive due to the use of Adderall, for which he had previously had a therapeutic use exemption. Davis missed the Orioles' seven postseason games in 2014 due to the suspension. Ouch. And then he signed a seven-year, $161 million contract in 2016. And then in 2018, he set the MLB record for the lowest batting average ever for a qualified player, batting 168. In 2019, he set the MLB record for the most consecutive at-bats by a percentage player without a hit, going 0 for 54. And then he announced his retirement by 2021. Maybe it did help. Maybe uh, maybe that laser focus kind of went. I don't know. I mean, if he legitimately had like had like anxiety issues or ADHD, had trouble focusing, yeah, I, I would imagine that that would be pretty rough trying to. Trying to stay focused even from an at bat to an at bat, depending on how bad his condition was. Or maybe it was recreational enough where it was just like locked in. Sharp. We got Mike Ciani. Bowman Chrome autograph for the Red Legs. Chad would still take an Adderall fueled Chris Davis over Eric Bedard. This is uh, Chris Phelps with the Reds. And then we got Brian Abreu. Bowman first autograph for the Strohs. It's going to be for Lance and the Astros. Or maybe even a non all field Chris Davis. All right, and we got Cam Roenger. Roenger, Roen Gardner. Rodenhose. Rodenhauser. Remember, rookie of the year. Uh, where's the, oh, the number's up here. To 150, looks like uh, 23 out of 150. That is for the Brew Crew. That's going to go to Josh and the Brewers. Now we'll go to 2020. 2019 to 2020.
All right, we got Cody Bolton. That's going to be for the Buckos. That'll be for Matthew L. and the Pirates. Yar. And in the middle we have, wow, Farm to Fame, Nolan Ryan autograph. The Rare Mets edition. Chris Phelps with the New York Mets. Wow, that's pretty nice. There you go, Chris. And Michael Harris, Bowman first autograph. That's a nice one too, nice box. Alex with the Braves, last spot mojo. Uh, the Nolan Ryan Farm to Fame auto I think is not numbered, let me double check. This one is also not numbered. Yeah, I don't see a number here. Usually they're in the corner, and the corners are in the middle, on the sides, no. but still nice. All right, making a nice strong finish here. Now let's move on to 2021. And then we'll skip a few years and jump into, into uh, 2024. I don't know if it was a supply chain thing, 2021 or, or whatever, but they, you saw those years were in slider box and 2021 not in a slider box. Did they go back to the slider box in 2024? Let's uh, borrow one of these little sponge pieces from the other break. And we got Anthony Walters. Metropolitans, Chris Phelps. From Whittier, which is about 30, 40 minutes east of us here. We got some color. Got some color for the Brew Crew. Carlos Rodriguez, 14 out of 50, gold auto. Josh with the gold. That card is gold. And the one at the bottom here, Speckle Autograph, Reginald Preciado, 44 out of 299, Speckle Auto for the Friars. Uh, Santiago, Jimmy with the Padres. All right, now we jump ahead to 2024. All right, yep, they do, you're right, Eric. They do go back to slider box here. I'm pretty sure it was like a pandemic related supply chain thing. And what a time, what a, what a, what a, what a weird, weird time that was. Remember during the pandemic, we were we, it's because of the supply chain issues, top loaders. People were running out of top loaders left and right. That was crazy. You know, there was a huge spike in people joining group breaks, and then not enough supplies out there. Crazy times. There's a uh, Ronnie Hernandez. Bowman first autograph for the White Sox. It's gonna go to Danny. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, we've, we've done a lot of these breaks, Eric. And we've got Yolin Cespedes, 35 out of 100. It's a mini diamonds autograph going to the Red Sox. That's gonna be Mike for the Red Sox.
And back here is Tony Blanco Jr. Buckos. That's going to be for Matthew and the Pirates. All right. Now let's see what we got in that uh, in that Bowman or uh, in the Tip Parade Sapphire Bowman Edition box. Could be some uh, real nice stuff here. Good luck, everybody. Whoa. Case hit. I guess we can burn the rest of those boxes. Actually, Sapphire is really good, so it should be still some nice stuff in the other ones. But It's graded. Ooh, this is nice. This is nice. Big prospect. I don't know when we're going to see him. Maybe a, a year or two? It's a PSA 10. It's Ethan Salas. Bowman first speckle autograph. PSA 10. That is awesome. Top uh, international prospect in 2023. And the number is right up there to 299. That's 255 out of 299. And that is Jimmy with the Padres. Won that in the filler. HTA 9. Congrats. Not with one of your potential spots, though, Chad. That was from a different filler break. Oh, is he like 19? So maybe he could still be a little bit a ways away. Grandfather, father, uncle, all played professionally. He's from the same hometown as Andres Galarraga. Speaks fluent Spanish and English. Nice. All right. Let's flip back to the list. But wait, there's more. We've got two Chase the Mantle entries here. Now let's gather everybody's names. Let's get some new dice, new list. And it's gonna be the top two after six. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Five and a one, six times. So a lot of sad faces here, three through 30. Oh, Jimmy, very close, just not quite here, but I appreciate everybody trying. Top two, happy times, you're chasing the mantle. Ryan, you're chasing the mantle. Josh, you're chasing the mantle. There you go, guys. After six, there's the top two. Everyone else, keep trying. We got, uh, we're almost halfway through the promo, but we still got a lot of entries to go. So keep trying on jazpiececasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye. Wait. Recap. And pause there for a second. I was like, I was like, I'm forgetting something. It's sort of a longer break, so we like to do, you know, anything that's over like 30 minutes or so. Worth, worth the recap instead of making people scrub through the video so some pretty solid stuff as well a lot of different years of bowman in this product nice wyatt langford a lot of great stuff arjun namala so great bowman break ladies and gentlemen again i'm joe i'll see you next time for the next break on jazbeescasebreaks.com bye-bye